if you don't know we have mounted, if you don't know we have horses and we're, we're riding them in the city, then we want to meet you. We want you to meet the horse. We want you to engage with us because that's a resource that we do have. about teamwork because Anaheim can have a great reputation as a mounted unit but when we come together we want Orange County regional mounted to have the reputation in the state let's make sure we invite them because they're going to show up 30 strong with 30 solid horses and teams so and that's important for us to have that not only for our city but everybody. There's only one mounted unit that is city-owned horses, city-owned trucks, city-owned trailers, and that's Huntington Beach. They're a city program. All of the other agencies in regional, the officers own their horses. They may have a city truck, they may have a city trailer that we can use, that they can use. But for the most part, if you look around, most of these trailers here are privately owned and the trucks that are pulling them are privately owned. So that's an expense that you take on and you know that coming in, it's not a secret. <laughs> it's gonna be expensive and you have to ride. I mean, it's cool to look out here and go, oh yeah, hey, I wanna go do that. But the time commitment that is required and your off time, it's significant. A good example of a day is we could go to a public relations event at a park with kids or the community, engage the community in the morning, and then in the afternoon we could be riding patrol in the parks and doing subject stops, arresting people for doing illegal things uh, in the parks or on the streets. Our day can change at any moment when we're out on the horse, and they have to understand that is, is we may put them in the trailer and take them somewhere and now it's a new environment, they have to get used to it. And they have to get used to it quickly. So that comes down to training. We've had residents more than once say, if you were driving through in a car or driving on a motorcycle, we would never have come out here. The fact that we saw you riding the horse through, we, want, we came out to meet you, we came out to talk to you, we came out to say hi to the horse. So that eight hour patrol that we call is just an enforcement, whether it's in the city park, going through a neighborhood maybe that's struggling with a crime rate or gang problems, always turns into community engagement and that's the reward that we keep trying to echo to the city. Somebody will come up and say, hey, can I take a photo of you? We'll be like, absolutely you can. Hop in, take a photo with us. People will put stuff out on social media. We'll put stuff out on social media. Hey guys, the horses are gonna be out on State College. We use social media to our advantage. People pull out their cell phones, they snap a photo with us. Now their kids are looking at it, they remember it. It was a positive police engagement. So then when the police come to their neighborhood in the cars, maybe they aren't so fearful of us. So now we're building that rapport, we're building that relationship. We wouldn't have had that if it wasn't for the horses. It, it comes down to the horse. The police dogs are great too at it, but the horses, for whatever reason, it just attracts people. They just want to stand there and pet it. They want to say hi to it, you know, and the horses love it too. They really do. The more we get out into the community, whether it's to do enforcement or whether it's just straight community engagement, 
the better. That's one way that the city and the police department has to build these relationships with the community.